now to an unprecedented punishment for a corporate executive. Former peanut company chief Stuart Parnell sentenced to 28 years in prison for knowingly selling tainted peanut butter, blamed for nine deaths. He could spend the rest of his life in prison. ABC Steve Osinsami is in Atlanta with the story. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, George. This former CEO is already 61 years old, so they're calling this a virtual life sentence. This morning, a first of its kind decision and a loud and clear message about safety to America's food industry. The food safety lost out to greed. Former peanut company CEO Stuart Parnell is in an Albany, Georgia jail cell right now. A federal judge sentenced him to 28 years Monday after one of his roasting plants was blamed for a deadly salmonella outbreak in 2008. Nine people died. 714 got sick across 46 states. At trial, prosecutors shared emails where they say Parnell pushed employees to sell tainted food, saying, just ship it. I cannot afford to lose another customer. Gabrielle Mounier was one of those customers. Her son Christopher was seven years old when he got sick. She spoke at Parnell sentencing. I have to tell you when I first spotted him I wanted to cry. I feel badly that this should have never happened. It should have never happened to begin with. Courts are now holding food company executives and even farmers responsible for dangerous outbreaks. In April two egg company executives got three month sentences after a 2010 salmonella outbreak. Last year two cantaloupe farmers were sentenced to five years probation and six months home detention for a listeria outbreak in 2011. But Parnell's nearly three decade prison sentence is now the stiffest punishment the industry has ever seen. My mother surely beat cancer and died from eating peanut butter. Today was a victory. It was justice for her and other families who needlessly suffered and ate food that they believed to be properly processed. Parnell isn't the only executive at his company facing real time. His brother was sentenced to 20 years. Another executive at the company was sentenced to five. Robin. All right, Steve, those comments from the victim's families, my goodness.